Hey Brews and welcome back to my vlog channel and a welcome to my kitchen. Today's video is a little bit different from what I normally post on this channel. As you can tell from the title, we are cooking today. So something that you guys might know about me is that I really, really love cooking and baking and all that good stuff. But I'm not the best at it. I'm no chef. A lot of the time, the stuff that I try to cook turns out as a fail. I tried to make mashed potato the other night for the first time, and it was a soup. So I thought it would be entertaining if I filmed myself whilst cooking so that we can watch the disaster that is about to unfold. But I didn't want to just do normal food because it's a little bit boring. So I have threw an Annalise twist on it, and we are going to be making Disney-inspired food. Starting off with Tiana from The Princess and the Frog beignets in the movie they look absolutely delicious and Brisbane is quite a long way from New Orleans so I don't think I'll be trying them anytime soon so I thought that would be super fun to make and the recipe doesn't look too difficult so hopefully it will be okay so I am using the recipe off the website this mama cooks I'll link it down below because it's obviously not my recipe <laughs> definitely not so it says to start in a medium bowl combine two and three quarter cups of the flour with sugar, baking powder, salt, and nutmeg. Okay, all the dry ingredients are gonna go in a bowl. All right, I have all of the ingredients here along with my Disney mug collection in the background, along with my gorgeous new mixing bowl and also these cute little French provincial, uh, Baroque, whatever you wanna say, measuring cups. I didn't have any baking supplies, so I literally had to go out and buy both of these and all of the ingredients for this video. But let's get to measuring. All right, let's mix these ingredients. So this is gonna be a chatty video as well because you know, I want to chat to you guys, tell you what I've been up to lately. So the main thing is that my cat, Charlie, he is my family cat, so he lives with my parents. My mom has let him stay with me for the week, so he is here visiting. He's currently on the floor all scared because this morning we had window cleaners here. They were cleaning like all of the windows outside. I knew they were coming sometime this week, but I didn't know what day, and the cat was terrified of them. Honestly, I was a little taken aback too. It kind of took me off guard <laughs> to have like a man standing outside my window and I just hid in the bathroom because I didn't I didn't want that social interaction. <laughs> Can anyone else relate? I was Snapchatting my friends and they're like, just go close the blinds. I was like, I can't do that. Oh my God, they'll see me. My friends are like, and? <laughs> but I was concerned. So that is all of the flour. We are already making a mess. Alright, I'm now adding in one third of a cup of sugar. Apart from that, oh, I nearly just knocked my sink in. So this is my sink right here and it has a nice cover on it that's metal. That way it looks a lot cleaner. When I did my apartment tour, everyone was concerned that I didn't have a sink, but no, I do. And I nearly just knocked it over and that has my tea on it, so that wouldn't be good. So, now I'm going to add in two teaspoons of baking powder. Ooh. my mouth oh yuck okay that's that's a disgusting flavor that's really gross next up is half a teaspoon of baking soda half a teaspoon of salt and then how much nutmeg do we want half a teaspoon all right now taking my pink whisk and my pink bowl we are going to mix it all together all right now that that is all mixed together what is the next step in a large bowl, whisk together the buttermilk, water, egg, and vanilla extract. Stir in the flour mixture from step one. So I only have one mixing bowl, and this is it, and it's full of flour. So, um, how much milk is it? Would it fit in, like, a cereal bowl? Because I have one of those. One cup of buttermilk. That should fit in a cereal bowl, right? It'll be close. But it's either this... Or I have my like saucepan bowl, but I think that this bowl here is going to be the better option. So I mean, let's just hope that it's all going to be okay. So the recipe calls for the egg to be beaten, so I'm just going to beat it in the bowl that it's going into anyway. I don't really see how that could be an issue. I just got shell in the bowl. Oh my god, I never get shell in. Look at this. Not even like a small amount of shell, a lot. Oh my God. All right, I got all of the shell out. So now we're gonna beat that egg. All right, we're now gonna add the buttermilk. 
and the water and half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. There we go and mix it all together. Okay, now we're going to stir in the flour mixture. So I'm gonna make a well in this, that way it's easy to mix it in. But so in other news, I have just gotten back from Europe. I went there to visit my cousins in England. So I spent most of my time in England, but I also visited Amsterdam and Belgium, well, the Netherlands and Belgium. And I absolutely loved my time there. I love Europe. I mean, who doesn't love Europe? It's amazing. And I just loved it. But I am a celiac, I'm gluten free, so unfortunately I wasn't able to eat any of the delicious pastries in Belgium or Amsterdam. There were no stroop waffles for me, unfortunately. I made my cousin eat one because I couldn't eat them. But so that is why I wanted to make some delicious sort of pastry today. So everything in this video, I should have said this at the start, but it's gluten free. The flour and everything is gluten free, so hopefully that doesn't affect the recipe because sometimes it does. But you know what? It'll be fine. Oh my god, this is really sticking to the whisk. I think I'm gonna change from a whisk to like a normal spatula because this is not working. Especially since it's trying to make like a dough. I don't know why you'd want to use a whisk. Like look. No, thank you. So the main thing that's happened to me though is since returning from my beautiful overseas trip is that I got really, really unwell. So as you guys saw in my last vlog, I had an allergic reaction. I, as I said, I have celiac disease and I was reacting to something and I was saying in the video, I don't know what I've reacted to because I don't react to wheat um, that severely. Like if I were to go out right now and eat a normal burger with a bun and everything, I wouldn't get sick because I stick to like such a strict gluten-free diet. I don't get sick from it straight like that easily. So that's why I was saying in that vlog, like I must have had a substantial amount of gluten, but I don't know where. Well, I have figured out where. But before we get into that, this is all mixed. So let's see what the next step is. I'm pretty sure I know what it is. It says to dust your work surface with some flour and uh, put the work the dough into a half inch thick square. Let's do it. Do I need to adjust that angle because it's about to be too late? I think I do. There we go. You can see better. Let me flour my hands. So I was really sick when I got home and it was all gluten symptoms. And when I say I was really sick, I mean, I haven't been that sick since I was um, five years old and, you know, wasn't diagnosed as a celiac and eating gluten because I didn't know I was a celiac, you know, so I was so unwell. So I was like, again, where have I eaten gluten? I stick to a gluten-free diet. What has happened? And I think that I have figured out what went wrong. I think that the airline I flew with, despite me asking for a gluten-free meal on the plane and they gave me a gluten-free meal, I don't think that was gluten-free, hun, because how sick I got must have been from that because I mean, that's the only thing it would be and it would make sense if for 22 hours I'm just eating gluten nonstop. Yeah, that would make me sick. <laughs> There's a lot of gluten for my little body to handle. So yeah, that's what I'm thinking it was, which is so scary to think about because luckily, you know, I only get unwell and I'm in bed for like a couple of days. But what if people are like anaphylactic or things like that? I don't think you can be that with celiac, but you know what I mean. If they're careless with my allergy, they're probably careless with others as well. So it's a little bit scary, but I can't say for certain it was the food on the airline, but like, what else would it have been? It doesn't make sense. It definitely was that, I think. Next time I go and visit my cousins, I think I'll take a different airline just to be safe. Because even if it wasn't their food, it's, I'm, I would just be too scared to eat it next time. So yeah, that was that. So I pretty much just recovered. I was sick for so long from that. This is so sticky. I need a little more flour. Because once I recovered from, you know, actually like being sick, I was still quite lethargic and didn't want to do anything slash didn't have any energy. So I'm finally back to my full 100%, which is great. So I am planning to do 
a lot more vlogs on here now that I am feeling fit and ready to take on the world. But in that time that I was sick, I've been watching a lot of movies because, you know, there's nothing else to really do, including Disney movies, which I adore. So I'm back on that loving Disney kick. I'm, I mean, I'm not doing theory videos, but you know, I do love Disney. Is this what Tiana does every day? I wish I was a Disney princess, man. They're just so perfect. They have found their niche in life. I mean, I know a lot of them go through struggles and stuff, but at the end of it, they found their niche. Life's lit for them, you know? Okay, I'm now gonna go wash my hands so that I can cut this into the squares. My hands are clean, and I've lined this baking tray with baking powder, but baking powder, um, baking paper, but let's just have some tea. Okay, let's now cut this up into some squares with my gold knife. Something else fun. Oh my God, is this gonna cut? We need more flour. More flour! I don't think that is going to cut. I'm gonna put on a lot. There we go. <laughs> that was maybe too much flour, but that's okay. Um, as I was saying, something else fun that I did is I went to a Troy Savant's concert. It was so good. I'm not really the biggest Troy Savant fan. Like I would call myself more of a local than a stan of him, but my friend Tia is a really big fan. She wanted to go, so I was like, hell yeah, girl, I'll go with you. And I'm so glad that I did. It was so much fun. All right, I have cut all of the beignets into some gorgeous looking squares. So now is the part that I am extremely nervous for. We are going to deep fry these bad boys. So I have never deep fried anything in my life. And on the website, it says that if you are a child, ask for parental permission. So I called my mom and was like, um, this sounds a little bit intimidating. How do you deep fry stuff? So we're going to be doing this for the first time today together. And I'm nervous, but hopefully this is going to taste amazing and that it will all be worth it. We are here at the stove. I'm going to turn it on. It's got oil in it. I'm so nervous. Okay, let's heat it up. The oil is bubbling, so I guess that means it's hot enough. So I'm going to start with this little heart beignet because hopefully it'll bring love and I will, <laughs> and it'll go well and the place won't burn down. So let's put it in. It's in! Ah, it's frying! Oh my god! 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 Ow! Look at it! Oh my goodness! It says for three minutes, but I think I might have this on a bit high because it's already starting to cook. Okay. Oh, sugar. It's burning. Okay. All right. And there we have the first beignet. Ah! I didn't go down the kitchen. I am so proud of myself. So it's definitely a little bit overcooked. So I'm going to turn down that heat. I definitely had it too hot, but... <laughs> All right, let's add some more in. And ta-da, the beignets! I actually made them and I'm so proud, but they're not done without some icing sugar. So let's add some icing sugar, just like Tiana does in The Princess and the Frog to our beignets. I literally could not be happier with these. They turned out so well. I, I mean, I haven't tasted them yet, but I made these. Like, I really didn't think it was gonna work out and I could not be happier. Ta-da! Now, let's do the honors. And this one doesn't have much icing sugar on it, but this one's still nice and warm. So let's give it a go. Oh, I really warm. <sighs> mm. Oh my God. That is amazing. It's cooked on the inside, which is what I was concerned about. And mm, mm. the icing sugar really adds to it and just, oh my God, that is fantastic. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm so happy with how it turned out. So what should I make next on this channel? I kind of want to make the gray stuff from Beauty and the Beast, but let me know it down in the comments section below. Be sure to subscribe, follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter, and I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye.